Hi guys, this is Yasmin from The Wedding Gurus and I'm here today to show you five different ways in which you can tie your chair sash for your next event. So we're going to start by taking either an organza or satin sash, whatever you're using. And we're going to make sure first that the ends are even, like so. Okay. We're going to take the sash behind the chair and ensure that that is pulled nice and tightly. Alrighty. Next, we're going to take the top and take it over the bottom and under. So we get a nice tight pull like so. Alrighty. Now the next thing we're going to do is what you would learn uh, when you're little, when you're tying your shoelaces, the two bunny ears. So you're going to take one and two. And we're going to tie them one over the other and knot them off like so. Now what I find is when you first do it, if I let go of this, they kind of go a bit skew with. So what I do is I would usually pull it around the opposite way and then simply fluff those ends up so you get a nice hooking bow. And there you have it. Gorgeous. Alrighty, the second one we're going to do today is the uh, swag um, and I'm going to use a satin piece of material simply because you usually find that the satin sash um, are significantly shorter than the organza so it works better for this type of um, tie off. So again we're going to make sure our ends are even. We're going to take it behind the chair like we did with the bow um, but this time we're going to do two knots instead of the one. So we're going to knot it once, pull it tight, and knot it a second time. Alrighty. Then we're going to square off the, uh, the two pieces, take one on top of the other, and we're going to simply pull it under and over. Okay. And there you have it. Alrighty, the third is um, quite a time consuming um, bow to do. It's called the rosette or the flower. So we're going to make sure that our two pieces of organza lengths are even. And we're going to take it behind the chair once again. We're going to get a pro at this. And we're going to knot it off. Um, because it is so time consuming, I probably recommend not considering this one if you have an event of more than 50 people. Um, spending a couple of minutes per chair does add up and it, yeah, it's better else spent elsewhere. Okay, so you've got your two, your two lengths here. And what we're simply going to do is cross one over the top of the other and vice versa. Okay, so like so. Now, you can take it all the way to the very end. I personally prefer to leave a little bit um, on the end, and you'll see why shortly. Take it a little bit further. And when I get to the point that I want, I'm going to tie it off, give it a knot. Okay, so just like that. Now, what I'm going to start doing is twisting the fabric until it buckles a little bit. So you'll see here that you can start to make it turn around itself again, forming that rose shape. Now if you wanted just a, a single solid um, rose then you would have continued it all the way to the end and tucked the material behind each other. I personally like to leave a little bit droopy but yeah, it's really your personal preference. So we're going to take it over, behind, and tie it off, like so. And there you have it, gorgeous rose. Alrighty. The fourth one we're going to do today um, is where we're going to tie it off to the side. So I'm going to take that black organza once again. I'm going to start by... Um, pulling it tightly over one arm of the chair, bringing it to the other arm of the chair, and sorry, you should actually be checking that your two pieces are even. 
Okay. Um, and then I'm going to cross it over and bring it back again. So you can see that it creates that nice crisscross. Okay. And then on this side of the chair, which is where the two pieces meet, I'm going to tie it off like a bow. And a lovely um, suggestion if you're thinking of doing this for your ceremony is to have the, the aisle tied off like this, so just the chairs of the aisle. And then you could use something like a flower and pop that in behind there. And that looks gorgeous, I think. Okay. And the last one we're going to do today is one that generally you can only do if you're using an Americana chair. Um, if you're doing this for your um, reception where they might have a chair cover, this won't work. So I'm going to take my length of material, ensure that the two ends are even, take one over the top like this, okay, bring it in nice and tightly, and tie it off at the base, like so, okay, and then I'm simply just going to do a bow. And that's my um, fifth and final way to tie a chair sash. If you've got some other suggestions or if you'd um, like to make any requests on how to do any particular designs, then please email us um, or visit us on our website, or should I say blog site, which is www.theweddinggurus.blogspot.com. You'll be able to find there some other DIY projects and some other inspiring ideas for your upcoming wedding or event. Thank you and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.